Hi, Gitzel. Good morning. Hi, Eka. Hey, teacher. Hello. Good morning. Gitzel, good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. <laughs> happy Monday. <laughs> wow. Very fast. I'm happy for all people because he, they have to travel in the... The transportation. 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 Oh, See, yeah, I... I too excited. I, Today is mm -hmm. And well, always that nobody happens. So. What do you think? Oh gosh, I saw I saw a picture. I was checking the, the, the media and I saw a picture and the bus stops were full. Yes. <laughs> they were full. I mean there were not just like five people and they have distance now. No. They didn't keep the distance, so it's, uh, I think it's going to be difficult. But anyways, we will see the numbers in one week. <laughs> mm, two weeks. In two weeks. Yeah, 15 weeks. days, right? Yes. Okay. But anyways, well, everything is open now. Okay. But you continue at home. Yes. Ah, okay. That's good. That's very nice. Okay. That you are still working at home. How was your weekend, Itzel? Fine. I, from from I, one to ten, Itzel. From one to ten, give me a number. Nine. Oh, nine. that was good. Yes. Nice. Hi, Carlita Beatriz. Good morning. Did you rest? Um, yes, I do. I did. Ah, okay, that's good. That's good. So it's all from one to ten, nine, which is a great number. So yes. what happened? What happened itself? What did you do? Something special? You went to the beach? <laughs> uh, no, um, I I am here in my house, and my family came uh, came and visit. Ah, okay, to your house, that's good. Your cluster. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, that's great. Very good. So you were, you were, you did um, like, I don't know, something for them, like food or prepare something? Yes. Uh, my um, grandmother uh -huh. uh, prepared um, food and uh, all family uh, ate uh, together. Um, oh, after a long time, I suppose. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, I know. Yes. So it was nice, okay, being surrounded by the family. That's great, okay? Yes. Nice. It's a good number. So I hope you had rested, you had relaxed for a while, you know, it's important. Mm -hmm. so, good. And you, Carlita? From one to ten, how was your weekend? Um, maybe, maybe ten. The maybe, first. maybe ten. <laughs> oh my God, the first weekend. Good, very good, nice. Did you rest? Did you eat? <laughs> the most important things, right? <laughs> I I didn't cook. I didn't oh, cool. do. I just rest. Uh -huh. but um and it <laughs> oh my lord that was good that was good yeah you deserve it you deserve it you have been working a lot so from time to time it is good to have you know something different in our lives okay great exa how did you sleep <laughs> yeah i sleep saturday at 9 a.m mm -hmm. and Sunday, uh, 10. <laughs> 10. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Early, <laughs> early, my <laughs> friend. Mm -hmm, that's good, you know, very nice. Okay, and Araceli is here too. Hi, Araceli. Good morning. Morning. How was your weekend, Araceli? I... Was it good? Very <laughs> see. Yes, delicious. delicious. <laughs> okay, great. Very good. I'm happy to hear that. You know, I, I feel not so good when you tell me that you, you never slept or, or you had over, you know, over time in your work. So 
sometimes the feelings are down, right? Okay, but having a nice weekend and then start the Monday, it's it's nice, okay? Ili is here. Good morning, Ili. Good morning. How was your weekend, Ili? A little busy. <laughs> a little busy. Uh, based on work or family stuff? Uh, for family. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But it was good. Yes. Yes, okay, that's great. Did you eat sushi? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no, not yet, but soon. No, maybe, yet. Right? Soon, you will, you will visit, well, I don't know if, if we will visit restaurants, but anyways. I, yesterday I was talking to my family and we, we, we said that even though the, the economy is again, you know, starting, it is not recommended to go to restaurants yet. Okay, because some people are waiting for the cafes to open and go there and meet with friends. So it's going to be difficult or to, to go to shopping centers, right? Okay, so we have to be like kind of cautious and wait, okay? My friends, the last week of classes, okay? Practically we have, we have had a five, five weeks, okay? Working on, on, on topics on this... Um, a, on this module, so this is the week number five, okay, and we have in this case our class based on section number four, which is personal training, okay, this is personal training, this is a, the video conference about, we're going to practice vocabulary today, this is just introduction, okay, for the last section we have, and uh, obviously this is the last session. So from now on, you can continue doing the tareas to finish, okay? Some of you already finished all the platform. So which is nice. It just, um, you know, uh, missing the final exam and you can do it obviously, okay, uh, during the week if you want, okay? So we're going to start with that, okay? And um, I'm going to I'm going to ask uh, you some things, okay? But we're gonna share some things here. This is a personal personal training, okay? As I said before, this is the topic that we are going to develop, okay? And uh, based on based on experiences, okay? This is what we are going to we are going to practice, okay, today. So, uh, do you remember, Exa, when was the last time you you, you received a training? Uh, let me check. One year or so. One, One year, year ago. Okay, that's it, okay. And what about you, Carlita Beatriz? When was the last time you had a training? Any kind of training, huh? Um... Uh, I don't remember, teacher. You don't remember? So it was a long time ago, if you don't remember, huh? okay? I'm not sure um, when I... I remember. <laughs> I, I remember because we were in classes and you didn't go to, to a class because you had a trip. Do you remember? You had to travel to Cajamarca, I think. I don't remember the name. Do you remember, Carlita? No. <laughs> How many, Carlita, please. Yes, uh -huh. one year ago. One year ago. In July, it was in, in September, July, more or less. Um, I, I, I remember it was raining that day, I think. So yes, it, a, a year was, ago. It was in September. In September, Araceli. Yes. So one year ago. Oh my God. It was, oh my God, the time goes so fast. Ah, okay, in September. You remember, well, Araceli was not in the class, right? I remember you were yeah. not, you were there already in September. I was, pardon me, <laughs> I was in, in work, but not in class. Ah, okay, okay, very good, nice. And Nili, what about you? Because you were in classes with me, but did you go to this training? Yes, uh, at Panchimarco, I was. <laughs> oh, okay, to La Vista del Cielo, I don't know, something like that. Uh -huh. I remember the uh -huh. name. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. So you went with Itzel, where did you go, to Pajamarca or the other place? Other place, at Panchimarco with Ili. 
Ah, with Ili, okay, in the same yes. team. Okay, Gabi, what about you? Hello, Gabi, good morning. Hello, good morning. Uh, Hello. Do you remember the last training you went? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and... Uh -huh. Pachimalco. Pachimalco, right? Uh -huh. I think the name is Vista al Cielo or I don't know something about the sky. <laughs> yes, I don't remember the name. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you like it, Itzel? Did you like that? Yes, training? it's beautiful place and uh, training is uh, was um, uh, excellent. What was the learn. training about? Do you remember the name of the training or the the the, 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 the. the name, the training, I don't remember. Okay, give me generalities. Yes. Uh -huh. um, uh, trabajo en equipo. Ah, teamwork. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, only that. Only that, okay. <laughs> yes. That's Something else, Ili, you can add? Uh, I remember some solution uh, problem. Uh, Aha, uh -huh. okay, problem solution. Aha, uh -huh. okay, very good. Did you did you have like well, you went to a beautiful place, right? Did you do um games or activities which involve the teamwork, or you were just sitting down listening and listening and listening? No, no, we did uh, games activities. Okay, so it was like very entertaining. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, very good. That's it. So if if all of you went to this training, that would be so nice because later on you're gonna discuss something. Exa, did you go to this training? I don't remember. No. Uh, why, why not, I, Exa? I, I, IT is the only team that don't went didn't, didn't go didn't to go. this training. Uh, so it was the the in the in the case of of IT or stuff like this. It, well, just like uh, IT don't didn't go. Didn't go. Ah. I, I don't know why. <laughs> so you didn't go. No. I oh my why. God! You were the only one. Okay, that's it. Yes, because I remember Gabby, Carlita. Let me see, Giovanni. Well, obviously Giovanni went. Okay. Uh, well, Sophie. I don't know. Hello, Sophie. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Sophie. Sophie, we were talking about uh, we were talking about the, the training that you had, uh, you know, last year. Uh, obviously, you were not my student by the time. Did you go to this training? No, I didn't go. Ah, you didn't go to this training? Okay. Okay, so maybe there were two groups, right? Okay, well, my friends, today you are going to discuss about this later on. I'm going to provide some questions for you to practice, okay? And we're going to go over the types of trainings, okay? Remember the name of this video conference is a, a training personal, okay? So, obviously, we have trainings. We're going to learn vocabulary about this, and I'm presenting you okay um the types of training right so look at this look at this circle that i have here about human resources okay uh, gabby can you please read the the steps here around human resources okay uh, promote mm -hmm. recruit 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 mm -hmm. train Evaluator. And evaluate. Uh -huh. That's it. Those are like the four uh, basic components, okay? For human resources, they have to promote, they have to recruit, they have to train, and evaluate after that, okay? So, um, based on, you know, trainings in general, I'm going to present different types of trainings, okay? So, uh, I will ask you, okay, to read for me. Okay, some parts. For example, the number one, okay, the first type of training is the, uh, the one that we have here is the technical training, okay? What's the technical training, teacher? Well, the technical training, it's a type of training meant to teach the new employees the technological aspects of the job, 
Okay? For example, in your company, what are the technological aspects that you have to receive a training before you start work? If you were a new employee, for example, what kind of things would you, uh, do you have to learn before you start working as a payroll analyst? Maybe. So, no, the company. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, uh, Araceli. To know the company. Okay, to know the company, okay, and the different areas of the company. Uh huh, that's it. Talking about the technological aspects. What kind of things do you have to know before? What kind of train? Well, this is a technological training, but what kind of, um, a, a, let me see, processes do you have to learn? Talking about technological aspects, okay? Because this is the. Uh, teacher, the for example, Excel? The oh, program in Excel? Program of Excel, very good. Uh huh. Any other? Mm -hmm. Any other? Do you have a specific program to oh, how yeah. how how to use the program of a payroll? Ah, how to use the program of payrolls? Very good. Okay. And how the the lie the lie the low no the lie in. Eh, leyes laborales, no sé cómo se dice. Ah, ok, the labor law, ok, excellent, uh -huh. very good. So, you know, I was talking to some of you, well, remember I used to arrive early to, to classes and some of you arrived early as well, and we were talking and I remember one of your partners who is not here anymore, he told me, well, teacher, you have to know Excel, and I said, oh my goodness, yes, but no, maybe so much because you received training here. He said, oh, I said, okay, and what about the program? Yes, of course, you have to know the program as you mentioned before, okay? So this uh, information is in this type of training, the technological training. This is to teach the new employees technological aspects of the job. It says technical training might include teaching someone how to use the computer system, okay, in this case, to ring up customers, okay. Sometimes if you have to call customers, you have to have a script and you have to show them, okay, this. In your case, I don't think you have a, a script, right? But maybe how to send an email, okay, what kind of, where the clients are, okay, etc. Uh, in a sales position, if you are working on sales, it might include showing someone, okay, how to use the customer's relationship management system to find new prospects in this case. In a consulting business, technical training might be used to the consultant, knows how to use the system to input the numbers of hours that should be charged to a client. In a restaurant, what kind of technical training? Well, the server needs to be trained on how to use the system to process orders. Let's assume, assume your company has decided to switch to the newest version of Microsoft Office. This might require some technical training of the entire company to ensure everyone uses the technology effectively. Technical training is often performed in-house, but it can also be administered externally. So when you have updates in your program, for example, now we will use another a version of this program. All of you should have this technological training to be updated with the system or everything you have to know about this, okay? So, Itzel, have you ever had a technical training in your in your in your jobs? Not only in this company, but also in previous one. Have you ever had a technical training? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what did you learn about this? Um, 
What I did you learn in the technical in the technical training? Okay, and where where did you have the technical training? Uh, I learned here in in my job, okay. and uh -huh. I learned on um, antiguo trabajo. In my last or previous. Uh -huh. Um, uh, about the, the leyes laborales. Okay, the yes. law. Okay, the labor law. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Remember, labor. Labor, labor law. law. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Um, uh -huh. And what about systems, computers or something? Did they teach you something? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, um, Um. Uh -huh. <laughs> what, what, what programs did they teach you or what uh, what aspects of the job did they teach you talking about something technological um the last work mm -hmm. um don't uh, did have a programs technological sophistic oh, ah okay yes. like very, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. it was just a normal programs of a computer yes uh, and difficult uh, because i don't uh, understand um cómo se manejaban o uh, sea how era to difícil uh, yes. i didn't understand how to manage yes okay, yes the programs it was difficult I, for you Mm -hmm. How much time did it take you to learn? Uh, One month, six months, three months, or weeks? I don't know. Six months. Six months. Okay, yes. that's it. Yes. That's it's that's casi it. siempre había, había, me equivocaba. O sea, era yeah, you, made, I'm, you made mistakes. And this yes. is common. This is common, I suppose. Okay. Now, for example, I started to, to teach English online uh, two years ago. Well, a year and a half ago. I mm -hmm. used to teach, so I had to learn about the programs, you know, I didn't know about Zoom or whatever. So mm -hmm. I received a technological training in my work and I had to learn how to use the tools and everything. So very mm -hmm. good, very good. Okay, thank you, Itzel. What about you, Gabi? Did you have a problem learning the program you use currently in your job? Mm -hmm. Or you did it like, oh my God, this is so easy. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, the the first is is difficult because it's new for you mm -hmm. uh, but in when i was a get mm -hmm. i learned to use a uh, avaya ah, because okay. it's a call center mm -hmm. uh -huh. in, did you the, did you make mistakes gabby Yes, yes, because it's, it's very easy. Mm -hmm. um, I was in, uh, I, I, um, change of date. I, okay. I, I uh -huh. was in change, um, and then I work with the, the, I don't know how to say tarifa. Fits? With the fees? Uh, with, mm -hmm. the, with the fees, because the, the, the customer called for 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 change the the fly the fly uh, ah, uh -huh. okay. and then it's it difficult uh, uh, equivocarse to make mistakes make mm -hmm. mistake because you you can church the new the new the new the, the new, new fly uh -huh. and the price is different and then you have a uh, no sé cómo se dice, nivelación. Well, o sea, uh, uh, nivelación tarifaria. Entonces, but you have to, to put the, to put it in, in the same level of fees. Ajá, uh -huh, mm -hmm. ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Entonces, and, and you and so, uh, so, Gaby, you have to input the numbers. Yes. Uh -huh. So, numbers and money is <laughs> so, so difficult. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Nice. That's it. So you see, uh, what's the name of the program you learned? 
This is the uh, the abaya. Abaya. Ah, uh -huh. okay. It's for okay. for answer the call. Okay. Uh -huh. And oh. if you want to go to the bathroom ah, or okay. to lunch, and you have to use and different program for the change for for search information i don't know okay great very nice uh, well, no, i know use, call centers they have different programs yes right? use um a ARD. Uh -huh. um is um, amadeus and in this program used for for all the reservation okay booking uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, great. So, did you have a training for all these programs? When yes. Ah, okay. How much was the training? How much time did, did it take Ooh, you? Um, One month? No? Yes. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. that's it. And, 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 and how much time uh, did you use these programs? How long did you stay in this club? Mm, like five years, I don't oh, know. Oh my God, a lot of time. So, that mm -hmm. means that in the end of it, you use the program very well. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, great. It was like Excel at the beginning was difficult. Okay, <laughs> that's it. So now, guys, this is important to understand what is technical training, okay? So remember, is the kind of training to teach new employees technological aspects of your job, okay? So you know already for this work that you, you have right now, you have to use different, pro you mentioned it, right? Excel, you have to know the programs for payrolls, okay? Or maybe any other updates that you have recently. That's it. Then we have the second one, and what is it? This is the quality training. Calita Beatriz, can you please read this quality training type? Quality training, quality training. Mm -hmm. uh, first, to familiar in, familiar, familiarizing. <laughs> familiarizing employees with the means of preventing, detecting, and eliminating non-quality items. Items, you, items. Items. Mm -hmm. Usually in an organization that products Produ produces mm -hmm. a, uh, a product. In a, a product in a world where quality can set your business apart from com competitors. Com com competitors. Mm -hmm. This type of training provides employees with the knowledge to recognize products that are not up to quality standards and teaches uh, them what to do what to do in, in this, this is scenario scenario okay very good Carlita. well let me ask let me ask uh, giovanni giovanni do you have a quality training in in your in your company there because this is familiarizing this is mostly when the organization produces products, but I don't know if you can implement this kind of quality training in, in the office. In this case, uh, uh, the leadership mm -hmm. by. Ah, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. the leadership. Uh, leadership by mm -hmm. okay very good so maybe you don't you don't focus on this on a product i mean like an object okay but talking about quality of work okay okay talking about mm. leadership and that's it okay very good this is another one okay other type of quality okay training okay other type of trainings we can have okay what about these ones Ely skills training what is the skills training? Uh, read the, yes, please. Mm -hmm. uh, skills training. The third type of training includes prof prof proficiencies, proficiencies mm -hmm. needed to actually perform the job. For example, an administrative assistant might be training in how to answer the phone, while a salesperson at Best Buy might be trained in assessment of customer needs 
and all how to offer the customer information to make a buying decision. Think of skills training as the things you actually need to know to perform your job. Excellent. Okay, so the, the, oh, sorry, <laughs> kills, I'm sorry, skills. <laughs> okay, the skills training. This is the, the, the summary, okay? This is actually everything you need to know to perform your job, okay? For example, it comes to my mind that in the company you are working for, the skills training in how to use the program for payrolls, right? This is specifically, right? A, I, I was thinking and I have always thought, guys, that I would never be a good, <laughs> a, a good asset for the company you work for. Why? Because for me, Excel is <laughs> so difficult, so difficult. It's like learning Mandarin for you, maybe. So <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't understand the program that much. I don't know why. But I have had different trainings, but it's the same for me. So skills training is that, includes everything you need to, 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 to do, okay, to know, sorry, in order to perform your job, okay, with, in this case, um, accurately, okay. Uh, do we have this, Giovanni, uh, in, in the company, skills training? A skill training, mm -hmm. I don't know. Have you ever received or have you, for example, well, in this case, it says how to answer the phone, but in your case would be how to, to deal with uh, customers or how to, in this case, how to, uh, to get the information into the program or to, to work with payrolls, etc. Maybe Maybe training with the new app for a check in or check out uh, our job. Ah, okay, 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 very good. Mm -hmm. Specific. Uh -huh. Okay. Did you receive a training for that? Uh, a little training. A little training, okay. When it's a little training, I can infer that maybe you are so smart that you understand at the first. <laughs> okay. That's it. Sometimes it happens, right? Because of time, people say, okay, it's easy. It's just da, 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 da. And people are like sometimes like, oh my God. Okay. It looks easy, but sometimes it's a little bit hard. Okay. Skills training. Okay. Skills training. Don't forget it. The first one is technological training. The second one is quality training, skills training. Okay. Then we have the soft skills training. Okay. What is a soft skill? Exactly. Soft skill refer to personality traits, social graces, communication, and personal habits that are used to characterize 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 relationships with other people. Soft skill might include how to ask for the phone or how to be friendly and welcoming to the customer. It includes sexual harassment harassment training, training. and ethics training. In some job, necessary soft skill may in include how to motivate others, maintain a small toll, and establish rapport. Okay, very good. So look at this one. Do we have this one? Have you ever had this training before? The soft skill? This is for interpersonal, you know, from worker to worker. This is important. Okay, the soft skill training. Have you had this, Yoba? Um, for example, um, administration del tiempo, no sé cómo mm -hmm. se oh, Time administration. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, mm -hmm. very good, very good. It's a soft skill training. Okay. Uh, one question Do you have to have guys a special training for dealing with customers? No. Or it's just like. No. No. You don't have to do this. No. Oh, okay. No. Very good. Never. Yeah, because there are some companies that they 
they, they, they teach or they train the personnel on how to welcome customers, how to use a cell phone, a, a cell phone, a, 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 a telephone call, how to make it, etc. Okay, well, soft skills training. Look, it has to do with communication, right? In say case, include how to motivate others, maintain a small talk, okay? That's it, a small talk and establish in this case the relationship right that's it between one and another okay soft skill training professional training and legal training okay uh, itzel can you please read it for me and for everybody mm -hmm. okay uh, professional training and legal um, training <clears throat> professional training is a type of training Required, required. To be, mm -hmm. uh, required to be up to date in one's own professional file. Field. A field. For example, tax law uh, change often and as a result an accounting for H and R. Uh -huh. This Blood is the name of Okay, blog must receive um, yearly mm -hmm. professional training on new tax codes. Mm -hmm. Silk, silky 20, um, no, so 2010. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Lawyers need professional training as laws change. A personal fitness training trainer with undergo yearly certification to stay up to date <clears throat> in new fitness and nutrition information. Okay, very good. This is what you mentioned before, guys, the labor law. So you have to receive trainings about this, about professional trainings and legal trainings, because I suppose you work a lot with taxes, you work a lot with laws, right, in different companies. So you have to read and be updated about this. Even, even a personal fitness, un entrenador de, de, de gimnasia, right? You will be like, ah, but it's, it could be whoever, no. When you are working for a real gym, you know, with standards and everything, everybody has to be trained, okay, about professional trainings. For example, in my case, I have to know about the educational law. I have to know many things, even though we are not, okay, in this case, we are not, okay, um, under the, 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 the instructions of the uh, Ministry of Education, but I should know about this because my field is education, okay? So this is the other one, the professional training and legal training, that's it. This one, the team training, okay? Uh, this is another one. Sophie, can you please go over the reading? Okay, team training. Do you know the exercise in which a, per a person is asked to close his or her eye? and fall back and then supposedly the team members will catch that person. This happens in, in, in concerts. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this is a kind of a activity that some people do in team training. Uh -huh. As a team building exercise, continue Sophie. As a team building exercise and a scary one I thought, this is an example of team training. The goal of team training is to develop cohesiveness. cohesiveness among team members, allowing them to get to know each other and facilitate relationship, facilitate relationship buildings. We can define team training as a process that empowers teams to improve decisions making, problem solving, and team development skill to Achieve. Achieve, achieve business results. Often this time of training can occur after an organization has been restructured and new people are working together or perhaps after a merger or acquisition. Acquisition, great, very good. Uh -huh. Have you ever had a team training in your 
in all this this time that you have been working there Araceli have you have you had this training I seen that yes <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, I suppose this is the training you had last time, right? Last yes. year. Uh -huh. It was about mm -hmm. team training, okay? This is, a, this is for, you know, this is to develop cohesiveness among team members. In, in, in short, it's just integrating the people, okay? Integrating the people to work as a team, okay? So this is... This is okay, something difficult to reach because sometimes we are so individual. <laughs> but anyway, this is a very good way, okay, to integrate everybody's in a team to work for the same objective, okay? Team training, that's it. Then we have this one. Uh, I remember, uh, Giovanni, that you did one of these. Maybe you didn't do it, but you maybe just, just uh, organized this, the safety training safety training okay what is the safety training okay so the safety training in this case is a type of training that occurs to ensure employees okay are protected from injuries this is what we say miren chicos tenemos entrenamiento la otra semana de de primeros auxilios ah. <laughs> So people are, are not happy with this, okay? But this is important to have, okay? Please, uh, Giovanni, go over this, please. Safety training, read. Okay, safety training is a type of training that or occurs mm -hmm. scores to ensure employees mm -hmm. are protected from injuries. Please. Injuries are uh, some protegidos de, de heridas, okay? Injuries caused cause, cause by word related. Mm -hmm. Related? In ac related in accident. Safety training is especially important for organiz organization that use Chemical, chemical or other type of hazardous, hazardous material. Uh -huh. Hazardous means dangerous, okay? Dangerous materials. In their production, safe, safety training can also include Evacuation plans, fire drills, mm -hmm. and workplace violence. Bio, bio, violence. Violence. Procedure. Violence mm -hmm. Procedure. Procedures. Safe, safety training can also include the following. Uh huh. I safety. No. I safety, first, that's okay. First aid, food service safety. Safety, uh huh. Hair, hearing pro, protection. Mm -hmm. As, as vessels. In construction safety. Safety, okay. As far as I remember, Giovanni, I remember that you did this training. Uh, somebody arrived to the office and some of you had this training first aid right primero auxilios primeros uh, right uh -huh. first aid also uh, if I'm not wrong I remember you did evacuation plans yes yes uh, okay uh -huh. very good so or workplace violence okay sometimes you can have this kind of training so this is guys the other type of training safety training okay safety training i remember my, i had a safety training in my last uh, pre my previous work and they taught me how to use a extinguisher <laughs> and uh -huh, they gave me the extinguisher and they put up fire <laughs> a lot a lot of fire in the patio 
So I had to, to use the extinguisher and how to put it up, you know. So these are kind of trainings, okay, for this. So if you work in companies where they use chemicals, obviously, for example, Rayo, uh, what is Rayo, Bateria Rayo, or Diana, okay, all those companies where they use, uh, so they can have eye safety, okay, food service safety, this is for restaurants or, or companies where they make food, hearing protection, you know, in the airport, they have to wear all this kind of, you know, earrings protections, okay, that's it, safety training. There we go. Okay, just finishing with this one. What is this one? Some reason for team training include. Okay, we're going to focus on team training right now. In the team training, it's important to know this. For improving communication, because this is the one that you have more in your work, making the workplace more enjoyable, motivating a team, getting to know each other okay for example let's have an example itzel do you know do you know sophie no teacher oh, ah, um, okay i i know uh, works with um uh, empire uh -huh. but i don't know but you don't know sophie ah okay yeah. okay carlita beatriz uh, do you know Maraceli? No yes. for the class, no for the class in your job. Uh -huh. Yes, I. I you have, see, ah, I you see. only see, but no more. <laughs> um, well, I, I don't have um, anything to 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 do with 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 her. Ah, okay, her okay, okay, okay. Uh huh. And so uh, on, on four, 14 floor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. So you work in different floors. Yes. And um, you uh, you are in the 14. Mm, no, she is. She is in the 14. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I am in the 15. Ah, okay, very good. Sinia, what about you, Sinia? Do you know Ili? Uh, no. Not that much. Okay. <laughs> well, I know that maybe your company is big. I know with a lot of people there. But this is one of the, you know, the, the, the objectives for team training. Okay. To know each other. Sometimes we work in the same place, but we don't know each other. So who's this one? <laughs> I don't know. Dicen que viene de... Ah, but that chambre. <laughs> okay, yeah, but dicen que... No, it's good to go and, you know, get to know each other. Okay, teaching the same uh, self-regulation strategies, helping participants to learn more about themselves, okay? Que descubran sus fortalezas y sus debilidades. Look at strengths and weaknesses, Okay identify and utilizing the strengths of team members, improving team productivity, and practicing effective collaboration with team members, okay? Remember, those are just some, 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 okay? For the, um, in this case, the reasons for team training, okay? And the including for this. The team training, well, you have some types, okay? This is what you have. Do you, can you mention, please, the types of training you have? Mention, try to remember some of them. Technical training. Technical training, give me more. Quality training. A skill training. training. Skill training, very good. Any other? Professional That's training. Professional, professional training. training and legal training, right? Uh huh. Any other? Safety training. Safety, Safety training. training, very good. Quality Another one. Training. Quality training, very good. So, which is your favorite? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which is your favorite? No, 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 no favorite one. Okay, well, we're going to go over this one. A, I, like, I like trainings. No es que, no es que me la quiera llevar de. Oh. Pero me gusta. I like trainings. I, I, I consider that it's nice for, for, for as, a, as a professional, it's good to be updated. It's good to be updated. 
okay? So we're gonna watch this, okay? Let's see, and then guys, it's time for you to practice all this information. <laughs> Welcome to Employee Training and Development. Companies have to take steps to attract, retain, and motivate their employees. Training is not a luxury, it's a necessity if companies are going to succeed in the modern business environment. Training prepares employees to use new knowledge, skills, and abilities to help better their organization's mission, vision, and values. Let's take a look at the foundation of employee training and development. My focus is to help you understand the role of training and development in today's organizations. To do this, it's important for you to understand what training and development means in the broader business context. This figure shows the role of training and development for business. The overall goal of training and development is learning. Learning refers to employees acquiring knowledge, skills, competencies, attitudes, or behaviors. But the focus of training and development is not just on employee learning for its own sake. Today, merely offering training programs is not enough to get support and funding to establish the credibility of the training and development function. Learning needs to demonstrate how it contributes to the company's competitive advantage through improving employee performance, supporting the business strategy, and contributing positively to business outcomes. From an organizational perspective, what employees learn contributes to the development of intangible assets, human capital. There are a number of different ways that learning occurs in a company. Training refers to a planned effort by a company to facilitate learning of job-related competencies, knowledge, skills, and behaviors by employees. The goal of training is for employees to master the knowledge, skills, and behaviors emphasized in training and apply them to their day-to-day -day activities. Traditionally, companies have relied on formal training through a course program or event to teach employees the knowledge, skills, and behaviors they need to successfully perform the job. Development is similar to training, except for it tends to be more future-focused. Development refers to training, as well as formal education, job experiences, relationship development, and assessments of personality and skills, and the abilities to help employees prepare for future jobs or positions. Formal learning refers to training and development programs, courses, and events that are developed and organized by the company. Typically, employees are required to attend or complete these programs, which could include face-to-face -face training programs, such as instructor-led courses, as well as online programs. Informal learning is also important for facilitating the development of human capital. Informal learning refers to learning that is learner-initiated, involves action and doing, is motivated by an attempt to develop, and does not occur in a formal learning setting. Informal learning occurs without a trainer or instructor, and its depth, breadth, and timing is controlled by the employee. It occurs on an as-needed basis. Knowledge management refers to the process of enhancing company performance by designing and implementing tools, processes, systems, structures, and cultures to improve the creation, sharing, and use of knowledge. Knowledge management contributes to informal learning. The training design process refers to a systematic approach for developing training programs. This figure presents a seven-step process. The training design process shown here is based on the principles of Instructional System Design, or ISD, and refers to a process for designing and developing training programs. There is not one universally accepted Instructional Systems Development Model. The training design process here sometimes referred to as the ADDI model because it includes analysis, design, development, implementation, and evaluation. Let's explore the steps in the development of training programs. Step one is a needs assessment, which is necessary to identify whether training is needed. Step two is to ensure that employees have the motivation and basic skills necessary to master the training content. Step three is to create a learning environment that has the features necessary for learning to occur. Step four is to ensure that trainees apply the training concepts to their jobs. This step involves having the trainee understand how to manage skill improvement, as well as getting coworker and manager support. Step five is to develop an evaluation plan. Developing an evaluation plan includes identifying what types of outcomes training is expected to influence. Step six is to choose the training method based on the learning objectives and learning environment. 
Step 7 is to evaluate the program and make changes to it or revisit any of the earlier steps in the process to improve the program so that learning, behavior, change, and other objectives can be obtained. A learning organization enables a culture of lifelong learning, enabling all employees to acquire and share knowledge continually. Managers take an active role in identifying training needs and helping to ensure that employees use training in their work. Employees are actively engaged to share knowledge with colleagues and other work groups. For a learning organization to be successful, teams of employees must collaborate to meet organizational, customer, and employee needs. Managers need to empower employees to share knowledge, identify problems, make decisions, and allow the company to experiment and improve continuously. You may be asking yourself questions such as, how much time and money do companies spend on training? Or, is instructor-delivered training obsolete? Let's take a look at a snapshot of trends in workplace learning. U.S. organizations continue to invest large amounts of money in training initiatives. Here's an overview of some of the key trends in these investments. First, despite expenditures as a percentage of payroll and learning hours have remained stable over the last several years. Second, there is an increased demand for specialized learning, including managerial, professional, and industry-specific content. Third, the use of technology-based learning delivery has increased from 11% in 2001 to 29% in 2010. And finally, fourth, self-paced online learning is the most frequently used type of technology-based learning. Okay, very nice. That's it. You know, as you could see, well, those are the rules of training and the different processes. Okay, we have, but in short, we can say that learning, learning, motivated workers, okay, and having a, them work as a team and reach the objective, which is, you know, implement and, and deal with customers and increase, okay, the the, the, the production in their companies, those are some of the basis, okay, of our training. So training is, as you said, so important and in every, every, every job you have, training must be included, okay? This is part of the, 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 the benefits, okay, you have, to, you have to have in this case uh, related to uh, okay, trainings, different types of trainings and everything. So this is what we're going to practice now in the second hour. You guys, you are going to practice. We're going to see a uh, go over some vocabulary. Okay, we're going to also discuss, okay, some questions I'm going to present. Right now, guys, uh, it's time for the attendance and uh, the first attendance. Okay, uh, I will ask you to turn on your cameras. Okay, and um, as I mentioned your names, okay, you should say present, okay? There we go. We have some people still missing, but I don't know if they're going to join the class today. So, uh, Carla Beatriz Aguilar Marroquín. Present. Great. Veronica Beatriz Celso de Saldaña. Beatriz, Vero, 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 is not here today? Okay, absent. Otsmani Etzaú de León Hernández. Present. Great. Vania Itzelderas de Cañas. Present teacher. Blanca Estela Marroquín Ramírez. Present. Blanquita, hello. Franklin de hello. Jesús Martínez. Not here. Okay, absent. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Present, present. Great, Giovanni. Dalila Estela Silva Morán. Present teacher. Hello, Dali. Maria Araceli Gonzalez Flores. Present. Nice. Cindy Elizabeth Mejia de Sanabria. Present. Sofía Guadalupe Hernández Palacios. Present. Juan Carlos Molina Martínez. Present. Nice, Juan Carlos. Claudia Ileana Casún de Mengíbar. Present. Ok, Ili. Brenda Lucía Rosales Guzmán. Present teacher. Hi, Brendita. José Enrique Bermúdez Rivera. Absent. Ok, Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramírez. Present. Oscar Xavier Morales Mira is absent. And Carla Joana Martínez de Martínez. Carlita Joana. Present. Ah, present, ok. It's, the, the volume is very low, okay? 
Ajá, uh -huh, please. Check the volume. I'm going to repeat your name and tell me, please. Carla Joana Martinez de Martinez. Present. Okay, much better, much better. Good, very good. Hey, and we have Veronica here. Veronica Beatriz Celso de Saldan. Present teacher. Okay, Veronica, stay there, huh? don't leave. Okay, <laughs> that's <laughs> nice. Okay, my friends, now you're going to work. I know that you work in the same in this place, okay? But anyways, okay, you can talk about this one, discussions about trainings, okay? And I have five simple questions, okay? Uh, let me let me ask, uh, please, uh, Carlita Beatriz, for please uh, read the questions. Okay, uh, number one, do you like trainings? Why or why not? Mm -hmm. How often do you have training in your job? Number three, when was the last time you had a training? Number four, what was the training about? Okay, the number four, you have to explain and specify things, okay? The, if you remember the name of the training, what you did, what you learned, okay? Important. And number five, Carlita. Mention three positive and three negative aspects of training. Of training. So, okay. So, take a screenshot, please. Okay, please, a picture. Okay, those are the questions that you're going to use. Okay, for discussing with your partners, okay? Uh, in the number five, remember, there are some things uh, that sometimes we do. I remember as a teacher, for example, we were happy when people say, miren, el viernes no hay clase, nos decían. And we were like, really? Yes, we're going to have a training. Ah, pero que bueno, así no tenemos clase. <laughs> that could be a positive aspect. Okay, now, talking about uh, professionalism is good when you are trained, okay? But for some people, it's like, ah, vamos a ir a perder el tiempo. Ay, vamos a salir. Yes or no? Sometimes we say so, okay? So in this case, you mentioned three positive, three negative aspects, okay? What was the training about? When was the last time you had a training? How often do you have trainings in your job? Uh, maybe how many times a year do you have a training, okay? And do you like trainings and why or why not, okay? So just let me know your opinion about this, okay? Accept the invitation right now, please. You're gonna work right now. Let me check, you're gonna work in, okay, in, well, some of you in pairs and others are gonna work in trios. Okay, accept the invitation right now. Live training. Do you have the questions? Hello. Yes. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Very good. Thank Who you. starts? Uh, Ily. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, do you like training? Why or why not? I like a training because uh, um, to learn the new things. Uh -huh. Very good. In my case, I like because uh, I usually give uh, breaks. <laughs> yes, it's delicious. <laughs> it's the positive aspects there. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. for, for the last question. <laughs> okay, for the last questions. Okay, very good. So please. Uh, when you listen to your partner's, uh, when you listen to your partner's answer, try to write something because then you're going to tell me the information, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So you, you both like uh, trainings, okay? Indiana, please repeat the, the, the answer. why, uh, the answer. Uh, because usually gave. 
in present Actually, because ah, give, 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 give a break. <laughs> A break. Uh, a break. A recess. Uh -huh. A recess. <laughs> and food. Uh, food, obviously. <laughs> Coffee. Yeah. When I, when I had trainings in my previous job, I, we had trainings for sometimes four hours from 8 to a.m. to 12. And in the recess, we always have food. For example, pupusas and coffee and, 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 and a little semita, whatever. Or sometimes we had a salway in the middle of the morning. So we were happy for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're very happy for that. So I understand you, Eli. <laughs> yes. Continue. Okay. Hey, how often do you have training in your job, Eliana? Uh, I don't know, maybe... Uh, once a month no no and we have training if if a teacher hello I Carlita take the, the the training for the capacitaciones mm -hmm. different trainings that's okay capacitaciones mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. uh, we have a trainings every year because uh, we have for for laws um, laboral laws uh -huh. labor labor lab, labor laws so in so, that case in that case Carlita you have uh, trainings once a year only once a year uh, no no uh, no no, but uh, for example, um, the last month we have uh, we had um, Costa Rica training about uh, okay. uh, maybe online, in, online Carita. Uh, yes, maybe um, um, in in October on October, maybe we have another. Uh, but uh, for other country. And what do you know? For example, Gabby, if you receive a training about Costa Rica, yes. What do you learn about that? About the it course? Is the no, course no, course no, no. Learn is um, actually um, uh, um, update, 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 uh -huh. update. And about taxes, about laws, and everything. Yes. Oh. But this is for each countries that the organization mm -hmm. has contact with. Yes. Oh, okay. And in October, do you know the country? Um, I don't know, but this year uh, we had to Republic Dom Dominicana. Repo uh, Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic, Costa Rica, uh, Costa Rica. Um, oh. Mala. Mm. Hey, very uh, interesting. I don't, I don't remember, but we uh -huh. have uh, some uh, trainings about about that uh, in, in, in every year. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. This is a professional and legal training. This is the, yes. the type. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Excellent, very good, very nice. So the answer is uh, every year. Yes. Every yes. year, but maybe three or four trainings a year, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. Mm -hmm. Continue with the other question, please. Okay. Um, and when <laughs> was the last time uh, you had a training? Um, the last month. <laughs> Ah, uh, the last month. <laughs> online. Because, mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, we have training online. What do you prefer, the online trainings or the trainings where you have to travel to another place? Mm. Online. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> For, me, For me, I, online. I, 
I saw you very happy when you went to the training in Cajamarca and other places in La Vista del Cielo. I don't remember. Ah, that. yes, but it's different. But it's, it's another kind. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, so you love these trainings, right? Uh -huh. Teacher, we we just remember that, and I told to Gaby that I I forgot this because I. I didn't like. She don't like. She didn't yes. like it. Oh she didn't my like. God! You Teacher, didn't like it. This this training was for uh, exercise activities in groups. So uh, you don't like to work in groups. Yes. No. 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 I don't. I don't. I don't. I think that I don't need to do more activities in group because our group in Pai with Gabby, Billy, uh -huh. uh, Frank. Uh, and other friends is very close so oh, okay very good yeah, we, great so you have good that, relationship yes i think Excellent. that we don't need uh, to go to another place for mm -hmm. doing exercise in but, group but something group something good. positive something positive about this is that you distract your mind you see beautiful places take pictures and enjoy i teach it oh my god it's, it's very hard, Gaby. No, soleamos. <laughs> you, are, you, are, you are very dramatic. No. Yeah, she's dramatic. She's dramatic. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, I will come back because it's at least asking for my help, okay? Okay. 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 Continue, Bye. continue, please. Hi, it's Hey, teacher. Hi, Eh, estamos un poquito aquí perdidos. Lost. Ajá, lost. Lost. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. entonces este, queríamos saber cómo era que teníamos que hacer porque ambas teníamos este, diferentes opiniones. ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, por supuesto, eso es para eso es discutir, ¿verdad? Ah, uh -huh. pues sí, estábamos sí, en y Itzel gives her opinion and Blanquita gives her opinion. For example, Blanquita, do you like trainings? No, teacher. I don't like trainings because I consider that I, I, it's a waste of time. Okay. Uh, okay. And Itzel, I love trainings, teacher, because I like the food. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes, I like the food. <laughs> <laughs> only, only, only. Only, 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 only that, okay? So this is, this is what you have to do, discuss. You don't have to have an, a, a, a similar answer, no, uh -huh. okay? Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. okay, you're welcome. Very nice. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Hey, hi, 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 okay? Can I listen to your three positive and three negative aspects of trainings? If you have the answer already. Uh, yes, the three positive. Uh, you have to learn. You you can learn uh, new things about some topics. Mm -hmm. uh, you can left your day off to go to training, so it's a day off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is the most common. Huh? Number uh, three. You can meet uh, another people. You can increase your network. Networking. Okay, great. Very good. You know, this is something positive because it's not just necessary to work with the team you have next to or in the same line of work. But it, it is a good idea to expand, you know, and to have new people, okay, in your in Yes. Your Very good. Negative ones. Negative ones. Negative. You, your job, well, your schedule have to accommodate to your training, so your job can accumulate. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. The accumulation of, of your duties. Yes, accumulation of duties, duties. Yeah, because the day that you didn't go, you had to do it. <laughs> And yes. say, uh -huh. number two or other aspect? Uh, well, Giovanni says that the travel to another place uh, can be complicated because you have to travel to traffic. one point to other that is very... Giovanni, traffic, organization, full transportation. Yes, mm -hmm. I understand you. Very difficult, the organization of the training. Okay, next. 
Hanya kan nunggu. Three, you just gave me two. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look for another one. Eh, uh, Sinia is asking for my help. Okay, I will come back. Later. Okay. Let's okay. Go ahead, please. Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Qué pantalla le aparece? Hi, Hi, teacher. Don't check your Facebook. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Tell Hi. me. Este, tenemos dudas en, en cómo se, se dicen varias cosas. Okay, tell me. Uh -huh. I'm going to help you. Tenemos el tiempo, per, tiempo perdido. Waste of time or lost no, time. No sería perdido, sino que el tiempo que se invierte en una capacitación. Ah, ok. The train, eh, the time spent in the training. Time spent in the... Se ve mi pantalla. Yes, yes, of course. Yes. Yeah. Ok. Mm -hmm. The training, training, time. training, training time. Training okay. time. Spent. Ajá. Uh -huh. Very good. Teacher, uh -huh. liderazgo. Uh -huh. eh, leadership. No es, es que no es leadership. Ajá. Es negativo. No, acá tengo duda. Number four. What is the training about yes. leadership? Sí, liderazgo. Uh -huh. Leadership. Okay. Yes, that's okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Um, Quality training. Quality training, very good. That's it, you learn about that. Another another positive aspect of uh, trainings is that you meet new people. Mm. Yes, for me it's... But for example, imagínense que trabajen en el mismo lugar y no se conozcan. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. Al menos de decir, hi, hello, right? You know that. So, new people. Meet new people this is this could be another positive aspect about trainings okay meet uh, meet new people meet m uh -huh. meet new people new please uh, by medio please uh -huh. meet new people mm -hmm. that's it okay okay other negative aspect is the accumulation of your duties <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, it's good to go to trainings, but then you have to try, you, you have to work more time the next day because you have to do many other things, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. The accumulation of duties or activities in your office. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. And think about the third one, right? That's good. Okay. Okay. See you later, alligators. Thank you. Oh, thank you, teacher. Hello, hello. Oh. Can I know the answers? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, for all. <laughs> yes. Uh, for example, I will. I will ask you. Okay, Sophie, do you like trainings? Uh, sometimes yes, and sometimes no. <laughs> so it depends. <laughs> Depends, depends on topic. what topic. Ah, mm -hmm. depends on the topic. Which is your favorite training? The the professional trainings, the motivate, the, the team no, the, trainings, or the professional trainings. Ah, okay. I don't like the emotion the uh, emotional trainings mm -hmm. when I am uh -huh, teamwork or. And there are others that I like, mm, the emotional, eh, the emotional in the work, the, uh -huh. las emociones en el trabajo. Yes, emotions. Mm -hmm. Ajá, the emotional, ah. that's training, I don't like it. <laughs> okay, can, can, I'm sorry to be a little behind about this, but what is an emotional training? The one that you receive there, you show your emotion, you cry or <laughs> And no, it's what like, <laughs> in, in Pai, I never have one, but in the other place I was, there, there, I, uh, there was one time we, we, do, we did this, oh. uh, this type of training. And, and what is it so about? It's, re, it's about... Mm, how do you 
how do you manage? How do you how you deal with how is emotions? The, uh -huh, in the work. Oh, when you and, are stressed, when you are uh, angry, when you are yes. Oh. And for one or three oh, hours, it's mm -hmm. okay. But all the day, only the same is is really tired. Sí, for yes. Me. Tiring, uh -huh. tiring, tiring. Ah, okay, okay, okay. And I had a training, guys, for six months. Can you imagine? <laughs> for six months, I had a training for six months. Uh, all Fridays, the whole Friday was about that. And the same, the same things about customer service and many things. And I said, hey, but I am a teacher. I don't need this, <laughs> how to deal with customers, clients and everything. It was a very long, very long uh, training. It was like a course, not training. Okay. Oh, nice, Sophie. Good to know this. Okay, so you like it. Araceli, do you like trainings? Yes, no? Yes, I, I like Mm, okay, so you are positive about this, okay? Did you did you write the three positive aspects and the three positive aspects? Uh, me? Mm -hmm. Yes, mm. Uh, or everybody? Uh -huh. Did you did you write the three positive aspects about trainings and the negative? About about Sophie. Mm -hmm. Yes, <clears throat> the positive. Um says that she she knows other workers mm -hmm. ah, okay 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 mm -hmm. and she knows about other tips uh-huh um, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, that, that. maybe maybe she can share the number three uh-huh and i say that you can learn about something new. Okay, you can learn something new. Uh huh. Very good. Okay, nice. it's, it's a positive. And the negative ones. The negative, she says. Um, she don't like when. She the, doesn't. She doesn't like. She doesn't like. When the training is very long. Okay. Too, too long, right? Uh -huh. One day, for example. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, to she, uh, for her, the for words... Her, for her. For her. Mm -hmm. For her, the words is accumulate. Ah, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. And it's difficult now all in um, a few hours. Okay, great. Okay, very good. Yes, it, sometimes it's difficult to learn only for some hours. Okay, and then you have to apply, right? That's it. Okay, very good, very good. Juan Carlos, what about you? Do you like trainings, Juan Carlos? Uh, yes, I like yes. training. What, what, what trainings do you prefer? The trainings that are in the office or out of the office? I like in the office because... Oh, really? I suppose that maybe out of the office. Yes, I like in the office because... Mm -hmm. Because it's near. Mm -hmm. It's near... It's near to my work. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. And what was that last training about? Uh, Nicaragua's legislation. Oh, the Nicaragua's legislation. Okay, so you had a professional and legal training, my friend. Yes. Ah, okay, yes. very yes. nice. <laughs> okay, very good, guys. We are going to now, we're going to, we're going to share the answers together, okay? That's it. Excellent. Thank you very much.
Okay, guys, now we're gonna share, okay, the answers, okay, together. We're going to talk about some aspects, not all of them, okay, some aspects about this. Okay, let me display the questions, okay, that's it. So in average, maybe I can ask for some volunteers, how often do you have trainings in your job? What is the, the, the answer that most of you have? How often do you have trainings in your job? Somebody can share the answer, please. Three times per year. Three times a year. Okay. Well, it's a good oh, number, right? What, one once a month. Once a month. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Once a month. So it's it's very. It depends the kind of training, right? Yes, it depends on the kind of training you have because the professional training is, and I think it's more common. Okay. Uh, in this case, we're gonna check the number five. Mention three positive and negative aspects of training. Let's talk about three positive ones. Share your answers, please. Three positive aspects. Mm -hmm. In general, um, I discuss with Ileana, um, the first positive is have a break. Okay, you have a break in your, uh, in your duties, in your everyday activities. Uh -huh. Yes. In the second, learn more things, uh, for example, training such as computer, other language, legislation. Mm -hmm. Excellent, very good. And the third, uh, we specialize in. Okay, very good. That's it, great, very good. Uh, those are your positive okay, aspects, but other people have different aspects, okay? Can someone tell me more? You can increase your networking. You can include your networking, very good. Uh huh. Senia, you have a nice answer with Alila. About okay. positive, positive aspects. Uh huh. It's the similar positive. to it's similar to Exas. Uh huh. Okay. Learn new things. Learn new things. Uh huh. Solve questions. Okay. Quality training. Okay. And meet new people. Meet new people. Okay. Sometimes, guys, this is very important. We understand that sometimes it's difficult to, to, to go to trainings because your work is accumulated, right? All your duties are in a standby. And then when you return, you have to continue with them. But at the same point, we can mention that new and new people, okay, meeting or knowing new people like, hey, hi, okay, it's, it's very nice. It increases, like Exa said, your networking, right? It increases your contacts. We never know about this. When I, when I was a, well, no, I don't remember my age, but uh, let me see. Six months ago, I was pregnant. I remember that I was pregnant. And I went to a training. And in that training, I met uh, nice people from different places uh, in different departments in San Salvador. And I remember there was one guy in a specific who stood up in the middle of the training and he said, hey, you know, if one day you need my help, uh, contacts about uh, being in one specific job or whatever, whatever, Contact me. I'm going to write down here my, my email address. Send a message to me. Send us a, 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 an email. And if you want to get a new job, I can help you. That was when I was pregnant. I finished the training. The training was for one week, for eight hours every day for one week. When I finished my training, I went to my house and everything. I was very happy because I had a job. So I didn't need this person. But I copied the email in my notebook. Ooh, I had my baby. I was in the, in, the, in, the, in the process of having my baby when suddenly I lost my job. That was in 2016. I completely lost my job. And I said, what am I going to do? My husband told me, don't worry. You have to, well, you can take care of the baby and you can stay home. And I said, no, but no, it's not for me. I mean, I need to work. Okay, so 
it was nice to be with my baby, but at the same time, my other aspect in my life, the professional aspect was like, come on, you're not going to be a mother for all your life. So I lost my job, guys. And I was like, gosh, I was very depressed because I didn't have a job. So I said, what am I going to do? And I was born to be a teacher. <laughs> I was born, okay, not to be just in the house. You know, guys, all the 2016 and part of 2017, I was desperate. And one day, I was checking the agenda, and I found this email from this guy I met in the training woof, many, 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 many months ago. And I decided to send a message, um, an email for, to him. And you know, for my surprise, here I am at the English Corporation. You see? Nunca se sabe. You never know what kind of people and what kind of networking you can find in these trainings. So it is a good idea for everybody when you go to a training to leave a very good impression. Because when I say, hey, you know, I met you in the training, blah, 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 blah. Hey, do you remember me? My name is this. And he replied, he said, hey, sí, la que estaba bien gordita. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, okay. Oh, my. And he said, hey, yeah, I like your presentation in the training. He said, of course, send me your resume and I'm going to send it to blah, blah, blah. And here I am, you know? That's it. So I can say that something positive is what you mentioned, Cynthia, and next in this case, meet new people. And I know that some other of you have the same answer. But what about the negative aspects? Tell me, negative aspects about trainings, training personnel, some negative aspects. What can you mention? Uh, your duty has uh, accumulated your duties are accumulated, uh-huh. More work uh, the next day, yes. uh -huh. uh, You have to check your emails or message uh, every time because if an emergency happens, you have to, to resolve. Okay, to solve, uh-huh. To solve. to solve the problems, okay. Any other negative aspects? I know. <laughs> okay, the food was good, not good. <laughs> <laughs> Ili, Ili has some aspects of her, Ili. Show, uh -huh. one positive for Eliana is the or, food. <laughs> or maybe if the training doesn't have a break. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. if the training doesn't have a break, so you have to be there for hours sometimes sitting down. Okay, any other? The final exam. Some Exams right? about the training, okay, yeah. uh -huh, which is not so good, right? Okay, exams about the training. Gabby, give me other negative aspect, please. Um, Sometimes is uh, boring, I don't know. <laughs> the topics are boring, uh -huh. okay, very good. Oh, and lost time of my daily activities okay very good mostly mostly Gabby, it's when maybe maybe because the the, the, the the training is not boring maybe the topic is not exactly related to our area mm, yes for example in my case i received trainings about if uh, you know um uh, how was it evacuation <laughs> y saben qué me pasó? Yo estuve en un terremoto en mi trabajo con niños, with children. Eso en el 2001 fue. You remember? Eso fue fuerte. Yeah. So, and I was like, ah, evacuations about that. And evacuation plans, and blah, 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 and this, and this. But you know, somehow they, <laughs> it was useful for me, okay? So when the training is not maybe the focus of the area where you're working, it turns boring. I understand that, okay? Very good. So, you know, but in general, we understand that trainings are very, very important, okay? So you can expand your knowledge 
and expands your horizons, okay, of uh, terms of meeting people and knowing new things. Great. Well, for finishing almost for this, okay, we have now this part, this on page number 33. I will ask my partner here, Juan Carlos, okay? Juan Carlos, you're going to be Alex, okay? And uh, my partner here, let me see what well, Giovanni is not here, Exa, you're gonna be Rick, okay? There you go. This is a conversation we have. This is on page number 33, okay? And then we're gonna go over the vocabulary. Okay, Juan Carlos, you start. Hi, Juan Carlos, are you there? Cri, 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 cri. Okay, we're gonna change. Sophie, Alexa. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Alexa. Mm -hmm. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month. And one for cashier. 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 Something. Performance this month was not so good. Some customer complaining about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay, very good. After the training, there is always an evaluation. Okay, remember, the evaluation can be by paper or just observation, okay? So this word, please check, uh, Sophie, identify, okay? Identify, this is the pronunciation here. Okay, then we go here, the exercise number four. Okay, Simeon, can you read the instructions, please? How, How do you organize? Mm -hmm. How do you organize training? Organize. Organize for your staff. Number the step in the correct order. Okay. Give me the steps, please. And analyze the job, mm -hmm. the size, skill, um, I don't know. Decide the skills and knowledge. No, knowledge gaps. gaps. Implement training. Mm -hmm. Is that identif identify mm -hmm. identify person personal current skill, skills um, and knowledge knowledge evaluate performance after training mm -hmm. identify training solution. solutions excellent okay so my friends this is what you have to do right now help me please number the steps in the correct order okay how do you organize training okay aquí es giovanni que tiene que giovanni hello are you there okay what is the first yes i'm step? there are you i don't see you here, I'm here. Oh, I don't see you, Yoba. I see. Ah, there you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. I bring the coffee. Ah, the, I the, the, the ghost. The ghost. The <laughs> ghost. Okay. Ghost. Don't worry. I hear one voice. <laughs> I only hear the voice, but I don't see the face. Okay. How do you organize trainings for your staff? We're going to put this steps in the correct order. Okay. I'm going to give you the number one. The number one is analyze the job. Okay, this is first you analyze the performance and everything. Okay, what is the second step you have to follow in order to organize a training for your staff? Identify personal current skill and knowledge. Excellent, my friend. Excellent. Oh, oh my God, I'm sorry, it looks horrible. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put it here. Okay, number two, excellent. Do we have a number three? Decide skill and knowledge gaps. Aha, uh -huh. decide the skills and knowledge gaps. Okay, you have to decide what skills and knowledge gap. Teacher, what is a gap? ¿Se acuerdan que esto es una marca de ropa? Gap, you remember? 
No sé si la han visto en pantalones yes. o camisas. Mm, right cap. Yes. Yes. Ajá. Yes. Va. ¿Y le han visto también el hoyo que tiene Luis Miguel en los dientes? Gap. <risa> va, ese es un cap <risa> sorry, bueno, oh, ya no vea, ya se lo relleno, pero ese es un cap, un hoyito lo, con los espacios, entonces cuando uh -huh. dice knowledge gap viene siendo como esas lagunas, lagunas mentales uh -huh. lagunas de conocimiento que tiene el, el trabajador ok, so no lagunas, no que brechas brechas, eso, bueno, uh -huh. eso, thank you ajá <risa> Esos, esos espacios, como es eso. Si usted busca gap en in inglés, es espacio, le va a salir espacio, gaps, ¿ok? So, cuando usted no entiende un tema y se siente así como, es que no lo entendí muy bien, en in inglés, you say, teacher, I, I, I think I have gaps in this topic. Entonces, se, se entiende que hay un, algunas cosas que no, estoy, no las entiende bien, ¿ok? So, Knowledge gaps. So this is the number three. Decide the skills and knowledge gaps. Then continue. Give me the number four. We have implement training, evaluate performance of the training, identify training solutions. Implement identify training, training solutions. Identify mm -hmm. training, training solutions. solutions. Okay. No. So we have implement, implement training. Implement training. Implement training. Do we have that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Number five. I think that is number. No, five. this is for. I think I don't know. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. And first, you analyze the job, right? That's okay. Yes. Then you identify the personnel's current. That's it in that moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Si está bien, no le hace falta. Esta niña no puede hacer eso. Ah, okay. Number three. Decide the skills. Bueno, entonces damos un training de que technology. No, no, no. Motivation because they don't feel motivated. Ah, okay. Well. Then the number five, we have, we implement the training, we evaluate the performance of the training. Well, this is not, okay. We implement the training or we identify the training solutions. Yes, yeah, the training. training solutions. I think that is implement training. Implement training. Implement training? Okay. So Why? This, uh -huh. In this case. I think that is in, no, sorry. <laughs> okay. Identify the training solutions. This could be ¿Cómo me va a ayudar este training a solucionar los problemas? This is how the training is going to help me to give a solution to this problem. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. And that's why. And then when you have this, okay, va pues démosle. Sí, porque se nos va a ayudar. Okay? Go ahead with the training. So, the number 5 in this case, that would be with Implement training. Implement training. Implement training. Exactly. Uh -huh. And then, finally, the last process is to evaluate, well, the performance of the training. Okay. Exactly. Examine, for example. Exam, exactly. Or observation, right? After Correct. the training. That's it. And there you go in this part. Okay, something. Oh, yeah, mi amor, vicioso. Okay. That's it. Hi, Senia. Where, where are you? Saying? I'm sorry. Hi, <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. ah, baby. Juan Carlos, dije. Okay. There you have the answers. Okay. Very, very, very good. That's it. Well, my friends, right now we're going to stop here because it's the time for the attendance. Okay. The second attendance. Eh, quickly, Carlita Beatriz Aguilar Marroquín. Cameras on, please. Mm -hmm. Present. Present, very good. Verónica Beatriz Elso de Saldaña. Present, teacher. Nice. Osmani Saúl de León Hernández. Present. Vania Itzel de Eras de Cañas. Vania Itzel. Okay, it's not here. Oh my God. Okay, it's not here. Absent for the second attendance. Okay. Eh, Blanca Estela Marroquín Mar Ramírez. Present. Ray Blanquita. Eh, Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Present. Hi, Franklin. Hello. Sí. Giovanni Alberto Hello. Dantes Flores. Other ghosts. <laughs> Other ghosts in black. <laughs> <laughs> Giovanni Alberto Dantes Flores. Present. Present. Dalila Estela Silva Morán. Present. Great. María Araceli González Flores. 
Present. Eh, Cindy Elizabeth Mejía de Sanabria. Present. Sofía Guadalupe Hernández Palacios. Present. Juan Carlos Molina Martínez. Present. Juanca, ok, hello. Claudia Ileana Cazún de Mengíbar. Present. Brenda Lucía Rosales Guzmán. Present teacher. Nice. Eh, José Enrique Bermúdez Rivera, he is absent. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramírez. Present. Oscar Xavier Morales Mira. Absent. And Carla Joana Martínez de Martínez. Present. Okay, very good. Okay, we continue with the second part now that you have this. Remember, miren, todo esto está en la plataforma, okay? So, prácticamente lo que va usted a hacer después es solo ir a llenarla, okay? So, pay attention to this. Y va a ver que no es ese, bueno, Giovanni, Joana, Etza, Carlita Beatriz. Liz, Carlita Joana, Gaby, todos ellos que van día a día, ok, y les pueden decir, it's easy, it's not so difficult, you just go and, ah, a ver, ahora vimos eso, ah, finish, five exercises, ok, so para no estar llamando después la atención, que no me gusta la verdad, ok, diciendo, do it, do it, ok. Y ya el so, viernes finalizamos, debería finish. de tenerlo. Sí, ya el viernes, viernes terminamos. Toda la plataforma. Toda la plataforma. Yes, we finish. Ok, sí, uno ya la terminaron. Incluso este tema ya es como, ah, oh, easy. <laughs> ok. That's Repaso. it. Repaso. <laughs> yeah, it's a review. Very good. Exercise number five. Vamos. We have goal, feedback, budget, knowledge gap, coaching, and qualifications. These are the answers for this. Number one, I'm going to read it and you give me the number, please. It says, a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. A quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. Mm, no, no me suena, teacher. But second one, an estimation of income and expenses. An estimation of income and expenses. Ustedes trabajan con este, right? Incomes, money that gets into the company. Expenses, all the things you have to spend on. What is it? Goal, feedback, budget, knowledge gap, coaching or qualifications? No idea? Well, continue with the number three. Helpful information or budget. criticism. Budget. Ah, well, the second one, Gabby. Uh-huh. Okay, the second one, so here is the number three, budget. Uh -huh. Helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person. This is helpful information or criticism. Mira, no, di, no digas, feedback. identify, the, see, identify, ah, feedback, excellent, very good. So here you have feedback, okay. The process of improving the performance of an employee. The process of improving the performance. Ajá. Se parece a feedback, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. What do you think? Coaching. Ah, Coaching. very good. Ahora, este es el proceso, ¿ves? De mejorar y va con él. Entonces, por eso viene coach. Okay. So, the coaching is the number five. Mm -hmm. A desired result of possible outcome. A desired goal. Mm -hmm. Goal is the resultado deseado. Ah, it's me. Objetivo, goal. Okay, so it's number one. An irregular balance of what a person should know. Knowledge gap. Knowledge gap. Okay, very good. That's it. Let's see. It's number four. Mm -hmm. And this one, a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job? Qualifications. Oh, qualifications. Qualifications, exactly. So there you go, right? <clears throat> so those are the, the answers, okay? For the vocabulary that we have here. So sometimes we say, dale feedback, dale feedback. <laughs> Pero ¿qué es feedback? Well, 
is helpful information. It's una crítica, pero no mala, right? Okay. <clears throat> For example, when you speak English, y dicen un ejemplo, yesterday I eat, y veo que no se corrigen, yo le digo, hey, okay, oh, thank you. yesterday I ate, that's it. Pero si yo ya le dijera, oh, Verónica, no, hombre, Verónica, usted que no se aprende los verbos. Que... Oh, that is a feedback, but it's negative. Bárbara, Verónica. Yes, it's, ne it's, a, <laughs> it's a negative mm -hmm. feedback, okay? So sometimes we have to know also the correct way to give feedback, okay? That's it. Then, okay, we go over these ones, right? That's it. Identifying training opportunities for personnel. Here it says we have a five aspects, okay? And we have analyze the job, identify personnel's current skills and knowledge, identify training solutions, evaluate performance after training, and desire skills and knowledge gap. So this is the information that we have here. Let's start with the number one, okay? Sophie, read it, please. <clears throat> is all opportunities and areas of improving... <clears throat> improving improvement, uh -huh. Improvement where training is necessary to increase effectiveness. Uh-huh. Decide if there is a gap between the knowledge and the skills Mm -hmm. and skills of the staff. Ask employ, employ, employees. employees what areas they need help with. Okay, what is this, guys? List all the opportunities and areas of improvement. Analyze the job, identify personal skills, identify training solutions. What is it? Identify personal current skills. Aha, uh -huh, very good. So you say identify, please. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Lo siento. Ajá, no worry. Identify, ajá, personnels, right? That's, oh my God. Okay, personnels. Uh, let me see what is. Current. Okay, current. That's it. Okay, current Person. skills. Um, okay, so. etc. Very good. That's it. Yeah. Number one is current. Number two. Find the best way. Gabby, read it, please. Number two. Okay. Uh, find the best way to provide training. One-on-one -on -one coaching, short-term and long-term training, e-learning. Decide the option that best fits, fits the needs of your staff and company. Very good. Find the best way to provide training. What is it? Analyze the job, evaluate. Decide skills or identify training solution. Identify training solution. Identify. Uh -huh. Identify <laughs> training. Uh -huh. Okay, training. Okay, solutions. Okay, that's it. Very good. Number three, please. Uh, let's see, Vero, read it. Number three, ask staff members to use a checklist and evaluate their progress. Look at the word R and check. If mm -hmm. there is still evidence of a deficit in a skill or its knowledge. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. What is it? Number three? Um, Decide the skills. Decide the skill and knowledge. Or gap. analyze. Ask a staff members to use checklists and evaluate the progress. Evaluate the progress. Evaluate performance. Evaluate performance. Excellent. Uh -huh. Evaluate performance after training. Okay, that's it. And number four, please, quickly. Okay, uh, let me see, Exa. Observe. Observe what the employee, employee does well and what needs improvement. Check for qualification, training, of course, and responsibility from previous position. Get more mm -hmm. individual information from human resource. Okay, this is observation. So what is it? Mm, I don't know. Uh -huh. Somebody <laughs> somebody, 
desire desire skills. skills. Excellent. Desire skills. Okay. Uh, and knowledge gap. Okay. Excellent. And the number five is okay. Read it, Carlita Joanna, please. Does. Does and describe the responsibility of the position with the employee. Write down, down indicators of no knowledge. knowledge and skill the match the position identify the process identify, <laughs> identify the process change <laughs> description and the description okay obviously this is analyze okay very good analyze the job okay very good so you see there you have the descriptions and the parts okay in this case the opportunities for personal training opportunity these are the processes you see you can take a screenshot if you want okay remember this is included in the platform so vocabulary and everything okay related to this how do you say identificar in english Identify. 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 por favor. Identify. Identify. Don't say identify anymore, please. Okay, tomorrow we're going to continue with this and I'm going to ask you, okay? So, my friends, that's it. This is vocabulary. Um, we have identified terms about training personnel. Oh, no, this section is going to be about, okay, training personnel. We're going to learn some new structures this week but nothing very very difficult thank you very much guys for being in my class okay have Bye, a beautiful teacher. morning everybody okay see you tomorrow see you bye, bye. bye. bye.